Hey guys, Two Fanatic California here. It's not a video I usually make, but I know for sure this is gonna help some people. So what do we have? We have <laughs> we have a cat under a laptop. So, anyways, I turned around the laptop to show you the model number I have. 15N0A3S8. That's an HP Pavilion 15 laptop. So the issue we're having. Right, so boot device not found, so what do we do? Basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to reinstall the windows from the USB stick and for 100% sure that works because I'm just installing a windows on this small laptop and I installed the windows on like 10 other PCs with this same USB stick and yet when I come down to this HP laptop over here it says boot device not found. Now there could be multiple things wrong Alright, the first thing that's wrong, my keyboard doesn't work, so I have to use this external one. So we're gonna press F2 as it says on the screen. It says system diagnostic. We're gonna go down to um, hard drive check. There's an extensive check and a quick check. So one of the issues that you guys might have is that your hard drive has died on you. But that's not what's happening in my case. I actually figured out what's the issue. So once this hard drive check will pass, I know it will. If it doesn't pass for you guys, then just swap out your hard drive. It's really easy actually. You can get like an SSD on Amazon or something. It's gonna speed up your uh, laptop. If it's an older laptop like mine is. All right guys, so as you can see, smart check has passed and short uh, diagnostic test has passed as well. So we're gonna return back to main menu. We're gonna exit this, yes. Sure, so still that same issue. We have to get into BIOS and how do we do that is by pressing F10. So as you can see, F11 and F10. Now, okay, now we're in the BIOS. So where we want to go now is system configuration and boot options. So the boot order is USB key or USB hard drive, boot manager, USB CD internal and last one is network adapter. So what you can do basically, for some of you, this might actually help. If you see your USB, let's make an example being like somewhere around here. So obviously the PC will first look for this, then that, then that, and only then by this. But sometimes it never goes down to like the fourth place. So what you want to do is actually move your USB to be the first thing that PC looks for when it tries to boot Windows. So if that doesn't help like it doesn't in my case, this is actually what I did, legacy support. It says disabled. For some of you guys it might be enabled. So if it's disabled or enabled, just change it to the other thing. Like, okay, now, now let's enable it. Yes, and now we're gonna press F10, exit and save changes. All right. Okay, now it says operating system boot mode change. Press enter to complete the change. So 1401 enter. There you go. We see a Windows thing. Now, actually, last time I changed it, it never asked me to confirm something. So that's something new for me as well. I don't know what that was about. All I did was <laughs> I did what it said on the screen. Just put 1401 enter. And there we are. So now we can install the Windows. Alright guys, so let's see what happens now. My laptop actually died, the battery ran out, so now it's plugged in the charger. Let's turn it back on. And there you go, Windows logo. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Please drop a like, subscribe if you're new. Also, if you want to see a video how to swap a hard drive on a laptop, just let me know down in the comments and I might make one. Bye!